Welcome again to the Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Wanted to do this little short video tonight, just a little discussion with you, um, because some things have come up recently that I thought uh, kind of triggered my thoughts on doing a video. And um, what the topic is, is you hear a lot of people that are not gun people or not preppers or things like that, uh, and you can read it on social media and different things. Well, what are you scared of and all that? But what I find ironic is... You know, it's kind of like wearing a helmet when you're riding a bicycle. It's kind of like wearing your seatbelt. It's kind of like a fire extinguisher, things like that. That's like me asking somebody that has a fire extinguisher, a security alarm in their home, and, you know, things like that, and go, what are you scared of? Well, they're scared of their house burning down. They're scared of, you know, somebody breaking in when they're not there and things like that. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> when... You have a fire, you use a fire extinguisher. When somebody tries um, robbing you at gunpoint, one way to combat that is with a gun. So what I find ironic is a lot of people, like, you know, especially they find out if you're a prepper or something, they kind of, you know, some of them will laugh and go, what are you scared of? Or, you know, things like that. And I look at it, I tell them, I'm scared of nothing. For the most part, now don't get me wrong, uh, there's things that always have people's concern. But it's kind of like going out at night. Yeah, some people are scared of the dark, but they're not as scared of the dark with a flashlight. My son's a young, he's a young age, and um, when you give him a flashlight and, and take the dog with him uh, to you know out to the garage or down in the basement or something, he's not as scared anymore, right? Well, it's kind of the same principle. But what I found ironic and what brought this conversation up and to start this video in my life, I've had people like at work or something like that, and, and you know, I don't make big announcements that I carry guns and stuff like that, but you know, a handful of people will, and possibly even managers, and uh, depends on my situation with them and things like that. And what's funny is we'll have an incident at work, let's say, and you know, maybe somebody made a threat or something. I'm talking an outside person, not internally within the organization, and you know, something just a little creepy happened, and they're like, "Do you have your gun with you?" So that's one of the first questions they ask. Or I'm, you know, traveling with somebody that doesn't carry a gun that may have questioned me in the past why you carry a gun, and something happens. Maybe you know we got cut off in traffic, and there's you know the potential of some type of hostile, um, you know, uh, road rage incident or something. You got your gun on you, or we get you know out in the in an area that they're not familiar with, and it's dark, and it looks kind of like a bad neighborhood, and they're like, you got your gun with you? They ask those questions. I find it ironic that it's kind of funny. So the whole point of prepping and carrying firearms or anything like that or learning skills is to be prepared. It's kind of like buying a fire extinguisher and having it and not knowing how to use it, right? So we also learn skills. We also learn ways to prevent fires, okay? We don't put newspaper near the stove or whatever. Well, prepping's kind of the same way. We learn skills and we have tools that help us prepare in life that we can kind of go along with life and not be too concerned about things. I would be more scared knowing that I wasn't prepared for something. Again, you can't prepare for every situation, you know, nuclear threat, you know, yes, that's a, that's a possibility, but I'm not prepared for it because I don't have a bunker, right? I don't have an underground bunker. So that concerns me. Am I going to go out and dig a bumper, bunker? Probably not, but I'm just giving you examples here. So my point is, I would be concerned or quote-unquote scared if I didn't have an alarm system at my home, right? Because I would worry when I left the house every day that somebody might break in and steal something. Or if, uh, matter of fact, I had a car one time that the front airbag, or at least the airbag system, was not working correctly. It had the airbag light on. So I was always, quote-unquote, scared that I might get an accident and the airbag not be on. So that's kind of my whole point of this video is when people ask you if you, what are you scared of or kind of, you know, make light of your quote unquote prepping or you're wanting to be prepared in life, i.e. carrying a firearm, things like that. I try having my most intelligent conversation I can with them to kind of explain and I'll ask them questions similar to what I'm telling you here is you got a fire extinguisher at your house? And a lot of people say no, because some people don't, but say, do you have an alarm? Do you, you know, whatever. Um, and if they say yes, or do you wear your seatbelt? Well, why? Well, you know, it's required by law. Okay, but would you wear it if the law wasn't? Well, no, nah, it probably would protect you. Do you wear a helmet when you ride a bicycle? Do you wear a helmet when you ride a motorcycle? It's just like my son, 
when he is riding his skateboard or his bicycle or whatever, we make him wear a helmet. But he literally is the type of kid, he's not a daredevil, but he's not a, what I call a scaredy cat, you know, he's kind of in between. But when he has proper helmet on or elbow pads, knee pads, stuff like that, he rides with more confidence. He does things like skateboarding with more confidence. Why? Because he's prepared for a potential accident that he would get hurt in. So that's my whole point to this video, is don't let people fool you or trick you into saying, eh, he's right, I don't need a gun, or eh, he's right, I don't need this. Uh, she's right, you know, maybe I'm being a little tinfoil hat-ish kind of person, and they're just thinking I'm kooky or something. Guys, you have to make out of your life what you want to make out of it. And, you know, if that's extra food, extra, you know, things around, uh, water, firearms, anything like that to help you feel more confident in life that you're prepared, by all means, that's what you need to do to satisfy yourself. Try educating people. You know, when people show an interest, I, I educate them. I explain to them why. In my area, we just had a little gas shortage uh, recently, and um, you may have saw it on the news. There was a disruption in some of the supply lines coming in, and people were panicking. And I'll be, be honest with you, I was panicking a little bit too because my gas supply, I'm a little lax on gas supply and I'm going to try fixing some of that. So I was I was in a little bit, I don't want to say scared, but I was a little bit concerned. And so I'd like to up my gas supply so I'm not that concerned anymore. So when people say, hey, you know, we're running, they're running out of gas, they're getting in line and, and they're now rationing gas, you can only get so many gallons, this, that, and the other. I won't be that concerned about it because I'll have enough. So anyway, that's my point, guys. won't try dragging the video out too long. Just wanted to touch base on that. When you, I, I feel more confident in life as far as my family, my my children, things like that. I just feel more confident that I can help them in an emergency. You know, it's kind of like carrying a first aid kit. Again, another same question. Well, why do you have a first aid kit? Well, I don't know. Okay, so I get hurt or whatever. My point. So people that look at preppers or people that carry firearms all the time as a little weird or a little off or anything like that. Hey, they do the same thing, but just in a different level. You know, they uh, they do it in in their life too. They just don't realize it because we might we might could say, well, we don't carry. When's the last time you'd use your uh, first aid kit? Well, I don't know, but I might need it. Or have you ever used your uh, fire extinguisher? No. Well, you know, that's my whole point is you have it in case. So anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Keep prepping. Keep you know doing your thing, making sure that you're satisfied with what you're doing in your life, and that's all you have to worry about. Anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.